So we're not going to talk about Minecraft. We all know Minecraft. We've played it on a bunch of different platforms. We get it, right? But we need to talk about the guys behind Minecraft and what they've done to essentially set what should be a standard for VR implementation on all games across the board. Because not everybody is the same. When you cater to the largest majority, you're going to alienate people who are just different. Our eyes are spaced differently. They're, they protrude differently. All that stuff is different. And these guys have gone through great lengths in order to make sure that they can get everybody uh, involved and you could tailor the experience to work for you. So first off, we'll go to player preferences, right? And you could see here, we could change the height of the character. Right now I have the eye height set kind of high because if I set it to the profile settings, which has my correct height, it feels like it's a little bit low, right? If I look around here, I just feel like I'm a little short. But if I change this to my, my, my manually set eye height, I feel a little bit better, right? And it's not a great, it's not a great deal of, of change here. I mean, go from here, right? Or from here, the lowest setting, Steve, it says, to this. That's not a lot. So developers shouldn't have to worry necessarily about, oh, it's going to clip your head through certain things, whatever. If, that's a, if that much difference makes a, if that makes a difference, then obviously the ceiling is too low in your game. Uh, there's other options as well. And take a look at the diagram that they've done up here. Every single one of these uh, options, every, every option available, and this is just in this one uh, submenu, but every option has a, like a paragraph or a couple of lines explaining exactly what everything is. Uh, let's go ahead and go to done go to stereo rendering. This is pretty important because some people like to capture footage like myself. And so I'm recording, uh, from a full, from a full window that has the viewport here. Uh, and I'm getting, uh, the full frames that I'm supposed to be getting, right? Which is actually half of what you get in the headset. But still, if I change this thing to one third, as you can see at the bottom there in the text, you lean forward and watch and view that for you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> then I, it's going to cut down on the frame rate or I could turn it off. And that's, that's great because some people don't want to record footage or stream them playing Minecraft. So they get the full power available to them going right to the HMD. Uh, world scale, a render scale, world scale, all these things are available to you. It explains to you exactly what everything is. Uh, and then of course we go to head orientation, I'm sorry, head, head, tra head position tracking, uh, which is a pretty big deal, has the distance scale, eye protrusion, uh, blank on collision, let's go back to that real quick, uh, blank on collision. This is actually pretty great because it allows you to, some people, when you get too close to something, that's the screen will fade when you get too close to something because uh, you don't want to clip through it. It's disorienting to people to be able to see an endless world of nothing, which is what happens when you look below or around uh, the things that you're not supposed to see through, right? Now let's go to uh, move and aim. This is a pretty big deal because this is how you move around. Now right now uh, in in Minecraft, in Minecraft, it's a bit wonky to move around. Uh, I can look around, of course, and go kind of explore the world and whatnot. Get real close to this pig. What's up, pig? Come on, let me get a punch. Let me get a punch. I gotta look all up. There we go. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I forgot to actually aim at him with the uh, the headset you there with the uh, the cursor. Yeah, now he's pissed. Great. Um, then it's getting dark. Great creeps can come out. That's gonna be amazing. Uh, now we go back to the menus here and we take a look at the no 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 local motion settings. Probably the biggest the biggest thing that makes people sick is local motion in in VR. Uh, this is gonna allow people to tailor the movement experience. Uh, to, and you can see there's a ton of options here and every option has plenty of explanation there available to you. There's just, there's everything that you would want is here. Even HUD overlay settings. I can set this thing to lock to my head or to the body where my body's facing. I could change the HUD size and make it just like nonsense big. Well, actually that'd be easier for you guys to read, but eh, there you go, too late for that. <laughs> There's so many options available to me. I could separate myself from the game. That way it's easier for me to read things if I need to. Uh, these guys have effectively set, again, what should be the gold standard in VR implementation if you are making a game that has VR. And I highly encourage anybody who's playing a game uh, that, is, that has VR capability to show them this. Tell them to download Minecraft and go through and look at all these settings. You can have default settings, the profile, profile default. You can have default settings and then allow the player to go through and tailor it to their own body, their own, their own head, their own needs. 
it should be available to everybody. So that's it, guys. This is Minecraft. Thank you so much, guys, for putting all this work into it. Uh, it works really, really, really well. Uh, and again, everybody should look at this as a standard and at least shoot for it. You always have the default settings. Let us make up our own mind exactly what fits best for us. Mike B.A.K. Phony, Minecraft. The details for this are available in the description below. I'll see you guys later.